Netflix reality survival competition, Physical 100, has topped the global popularity chart for TV shows. As it became the most viewed TV show in 38 countries, the participants are now getting huge attention too. Let's focus on Akiyama Yoshihiro, who is attracting attention for his extraordinary leadership. Akiyama Yoshihiro was born on July 29th in 1975 in Osaka, Japan. He's also known as Chusongun and by his nickname, Sexyama. He is a Korean-Japanese mixed martial artist, judoka, and entertainer active in Korea. He's 178 centimeters tall, weighs 77 kilograms, and his reach is 190 centimeters. Though his current nationality is Japanese, but I'd like to introduce him to you all because he's inseparable from Korea. His father was a backup national athlete of Korea in judo, but due to injury, he failed to be selected for the national team and had to return to Japan. However, he married a swimmer he met at National Training Center and gave birth to Chu Sung-un. He started judo under the guidance of his father at the age of three. Growing up as a promising judo player, he's got several offers to be naturalized as Japanese because his nationality was still Korean at that time. As a fourth-generation Korean-Japanese and for achieving his father's dream on behalf of him, he came to Korea with a dream of becoming the world champion as a Korean representative. However, he was not selected as a national representative and he insisted that was because of factional strife and biased judgment. Eventually, he chose to become a Japanese citizen. He won a gold medal defeating Korean player in the finals at the 2002 Busan Asian Games as a member of Japanese national team. But after keeping himself at the fourth place in the 2003 World Judo Championship and failing to participate in the 2004 Athens Olympics, he decided to become a mixed martial artist instead. He debuted in December 2004 and started gaining reputation by notably winning several matches. He won the light heavyweight Grand Prix final and became the champion. But he didn't recognize that applying lotion is against the rule and he actually used it a lot before he stepped into the ring. As a result, he was disqualified and he was indefinitely suspended. After the punishment was lifted in 2007, he won a KO victory over Dennis Kang in a single blow in the main event. And this led to earnest attention from the Korean media. In February 2009, he signed a six-fight contract with UFC and expanded his career to the US. If you're interested in his greatest matches of all time, Google the one with legendary kickboxer Melvin Manhoff and another with Shinya Aoki who has been persistently provoking Chu sung for 14 years. To give you a hint, Chu sung dropped the two weight classes down to fight with him and won a come-from-behind victory by technical knockout in the second round. His marriage to Japanese top model Yano Shiho became a hot issue at that time. They were called Beauty and the Beast and this has made him popular in Japan. They gave birth to their daughter Chu Sarang in October 2011 and she gained sensational popularity through the TV program The Return of Superman. In 2013 and 2014, she even won the popularity award at the KBS Entertainment Awards and they shot many commercials together. Chu sung has also won the Best Entertainer Award, Grand Prize, and Hot Issue Entertainer Award for three consecutive years since 2013. He is the only person who humiliated Kim Jong-guk, a representative Muslim man in the Korean entertainment industry. In a wrestling match on a TV program, Kim Jong-guk, a famous singer with a muscular body, was beaten to the floor by him. Eight years later, on the variety show Running Man, he had mud flat wrestling and he defeated Kim Jong-guk again with a single attack. He sang a song One Love at the group show and gained great popularity. He donated all proceeds from this song. Despite being unable to do the military service because of his nationality, in early 2010, he participated in the experience at General Outpost Boundary. He was ranked 59th in the Physical 100 pre-quest but won against Shin Dong-guk in the first quest who was ranked 4th. In the second quest, he perfectly predicted the next quest which was carrying sand and won against the Tarzan team. Although he was eliminated in the fourth quest, he is still receiving much attention. He is showing great performances even at the age around 50. I look forward to seeing him active in various TV programs and MMA matches in the future. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.